What's up, Internet? We are back on the island for another evening after a bit of a hiatus. Uh, I have been really badly crunching out my longest review ever, so it's uh, it's it's been a lot of work. We got a thing from Jack, which is nice because it's probably been sitting in my mailbox for almost a week now. Oops. Oh, God. There's a lot in my... Uh-oh. Okay, well, first things first, let's go to the... The Able Sisters deal with them. We've got about 10 minutes before they close, but just to be safe. Uh, we've got a couple of projects that we can do. We, of course, still have to do our nightclub at some point. Um, I'd like to try and redo my little islandy area as well. That's an option for things we can do. So we got some options. Uh, yeah. But it's just... It's a night to relax because I haven't been able to do that in like a week. And I'm going to go and break down and cry if I don't. So that's good. Also, there's cat, uh... Ooh. Ooh. Those are kind of nice. I like those. Pleather patch skirt. Aren't these the mermaid dresses? Hmm. Let's see. Do, do, do. Pikmin hat. Cat. Whiskers, I think we need that for sure. Yeah, okay. I don't actually want to wear them out, but I will take them, thank you. And now we have cat whiskers, which we're going to need for a costume at the end of the month, I feel. Oh, also, we, I think we can buy pumpkins now, which we have to water and grow. So we might have to, like, prioritize that. But the point is, at the very least, we've got stuff to do. So we might have a new fish or two we can catch, I'm not sure. Let's see. Ooh, candy. Candy, 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 candy. Yeah, I'm taking that. Candy! Okay. Let's see. I don't think we have a lot of bells, but okay, so we can buy candy, we can buy pumpkin starts. And I wouldn't mind buying that bed for Celia. Available only during October. One per customer per day. Then we'll buy it. And that actually means we're behind. Crap. Oh, crap. I should probably buy bulk. Hold on. I'll, I'll get myself some more bells and then we'll deal with this. Also, how much is this bed worth? Because I feel like this is for Celia. Don't be insanely expensive. Okay, I can afford that. I mean, I can't. I think I actually used all my bells buying those elaborate kimono stands, which I wanted to use to decorate my island. But it's not insanely expensive. So we can probably earn that back in bells. No problem. Hopefully. Hopefully we can do that anyway. Fortunately, we have the magic power of a shovel. We're going to take advantage of that. And maybe we'll get some gold while we do this, because we need some of that too. Uh, gold is kind of important for this whole operation we're running. Hey, Sahara's here. I'm genuinely not sure I need anything from Sahara anymore. And considering I need bells for something else now, there's a good chance the har is not getting mine, but we'll see. Because it's good to fill out your collection if you can, but at the same time, if you need your supplies for something else, it's better to prioritize what you need over what you'd like. For example, we definitely need gold, because we definitely need a Gundam. Like, that's just common sense, really. Gonna take this, and this, and this, and this, and this, and this, and I should probably grab this rock so that we can get more loot out of these rocks. And let's, there we go. Okay, what do we got? Nope, nope, come on, gold. Eh. No gold yet, but hopefully we'll get some as we work towards getting more gold. Ah, there's the bells. 
Not in the best place, though. We'd have preferred it to be on one of the side areas where there's just more holes, but still. At the very least, we can buy some of those pumpkin starts. Oh, Octavian, don't come this way. You'll secretly talk to me while I'm trying to smack this thing, and I'll lose my ability to get stuff from it. Spike's done that to me so many times in original, and I'm sure it'll happen in this game. It's just a matter of time. I'm still very impressed by my rock formation. Alright. Well, we didn't get any gold, but we got some mats, and we got some bells. As many as I'd like, but what can you do? I think I actually have some... A message in the bottle, anyway. For a juicy apple TV, which I actually already know, so that's useless. I can eat candy! I don't want to, though. I, I have a feeling that's gonna have a use other than eating, so let's not eat candy if we can help it. It's it's kind of a tall order not to eat candy, but it's it's important that we don't. For if we don't eat candy, we can trade it up for some more Halloween stuff at the end of the month. Woo! Alright. Not seeing any DIY stuff around here. I'm still at a loss for what else we should do for our nightclub right off, but we'll figure it out. Gotta water these things. I know we got an extra rose because I hopped in last night just to make sure that we were having stuff that was watered. So we actually do have an extra rose. I'm not sure if I'm going to move it yet or not. If I do move it, then we've got at least one complete circuit of all the flowers, which is good. But, on the flip-flop, we could just have it sit here and continue to make more roses, and we kind of need that right now. What with it being like the most demanded one along with like these uh, pink tulips. We need them a lot too. Yeah, so we only have four. I think until we get a fifth one, I'm just going to leave these here. Although there is a problem, this bear is actually in the way of it spawning more to the south, but what can you do? Alright, woo! Red's not here, which is good, because I can't afford anything from red right now. Okay, well we got a few bells. What's in our present? We have... Jack's portrait. Ooh, I finally have a portrait. I love the portraits. I'm sad I haven't gotten any up to this point. I've been playing for almost a year now. And a tailor's ticket, which I could have used on that cat whiskers. That I really should have. But I didn't, because I'm a spaz. Okay. Let's see what we can get from here. So let's start at the bottom. Got three elaborate kimono stands, which I had trouble saying, because elaborate is actually a pretty elaborate word. Letter from Drago. Letter from the... Ah, we got ten whole bells added to our bank account. Awesome. Hey, we actually did gain some extra points. Nice. Oh, I'm not sure if I showed this, but I did change up our, our main room. That's a cool postcard. Plus, we got some stuff from good old Kimmy. And a thing from Judy. So let's see what our big magical box of presents is. We got, first of all, an elaborate kimono stand. I know where these are going. These are going somewhere special. I'm not sure I can place them there right off without having to do some modification. Though we got a dragon jacket place item. Oh yeah, she told me about this. It's it's like the uh, eagle jacket I really like, but it's got a dragon on it. That's, that's pretty swish. That reminds me, I have to see if I can get something for her. Already have the shell partition, alas. Shell lamp! Ooh! That's one we need! Hooray! That just leaves two more. And a facial mask. Woo! That is creepy looking. Let's take that off. Alright. So, speaking of shell stuff, they're not just for Marina anymore. I don't know if I've shown this off, but I've kind of combined the mermaid set with the shell set in my main room. And we're kind of rocking this now. I'm, I'm kind of impressed with this so far. I think we're missing, as it stands, two pieces of the mermaid set, and I think we're missing two pieces of the shell set at this point. We need the chair and the arch, which we also need for Marina's place. 
And we need giant clams and clay. Ooh, we can actually craft a few of those. And we need at least three right now. So, I don't think I have a DIY thing here anymore. <laughs> there's no room for DIYs in this room anymore. I have to go to the other room. Fortunately, there's an ironwood DIY box, uh, box table thingy. Let us indeed craft. So we're going to need at least three of these. One. And we're going to have to paint three of them too. Two. And we're going to need more giant clams and lamps. So let's, let's do that. Oh, I don't have inventory space. Okay. Uh, store. Store. Gotta hold on to those. Put away. Store the creepy mask. Uh, Jack's portrait. What does this actually look like? I'm curious. Ooh, I can hang it on the wall? Let's hang it on the wall then. Oh, that's cool. Oh, and it glows. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> I really want to get the uh, Halloween set now. Because that's... That's pretty cool. I'm I'm just going to say I'm quite impressed with that. Oh, can I turn off the lights? Any more than that? Uh, yeah, kind of, if I mess with the lamps, but... You know, it's glowing, we can tell. I kind of wish we could turn off all the lights and just have the outline and like the lighting of that light up. That would be so cool. Okay, so we got elaborate kimono stands. I need those for my house, but I need them somewhere else first. And they're really unbelievably expensive. Alright, we need this. I think they're like 2,000... Ah, uh, we didn't need iron, oh well. They're like 2,200,000 or something like that. It's, it's insane how much those are. And there's still like, I think, three we're missing. And of course, my controller's messing up yet again. Damn it, I really just need a new controller. If I had money, if I had money, I, I, I'm not going to lie, I actually have a tab for the, like, uh, what is it, 8-bit 3DO controller for the, the Switch. I've had a tab of that open on my computer for, like, two months now. <laughs> and it's, it's just sitting there, like, oh, you can buy it now for 60 bucks. It's like, oh, I wish I could. <laughs> Giant clams, that's what we need. I'd be more like ready to just jump in and buy one if I could also use it on my 360 and my PS4 because my PS4 sticks are basically dissolving because apparently that's a problem the earlier PS4 sticks had and my Xbox controllers have like a weird non-centering drift as well unfortunately there doesn't seem to be a controller that works for all three which is kind of obnoxious especially considering that they're pretty much designed standard now Ooh, that purple's kind of cool. That yellow's a little bit vomity color, though. Okay, so we need 3 times 6. That is 18. That is math. Okay, so let's go talk to the Nooklings about... I don't have enough bells for that, do I? Oh, poop. Okay, okay. Well, let's see what we can take to sell to the Nooklings in here. Things that I dove for, but did not ultimately take to him. Alright, well that's some stuff we can sell to the Nooklings. Alas, buying all the elaborate kimono stands in the world has left me rather poor. Oh, before anything, I, I gotta check something real quick. Because I gotta be a good neighbor, but not with these people. I don't think that outfit's all that great on on uh, Marina. I almost called her Olivia. <laughs> I don't know why I did that. I think I was thinking Octavian. Alright. So we need to go to the Nook Shopping Center. And we need to find a specific shirt I'm pretty sure I've had. If I haven't, this will be rather awkward and a waste of time. But I'm pretty sure I... Oh, that's cool. I didn't even realize I, I had at one point had that. I would have kept that. That's also a pretty cool shirt. The bowling shirt. Alright. Uh, we're looking for, I do believe... 
The letter D. D, 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 D. Can I buy the chrome? Yes, I can, but it's very expensive. Doll, denim, desert, dollhouse, diner, dragon's jackets. Yes, dragon suit, that's what I wanted. Send as a gift. And holy crap, that's a lot more expensive than I thought it was. But either way. I think she said she needed one of those. And when she said that she had that jacket, that's what I thought she was talking about. Just gotta return a good favor to another. Also, we're now only missing two pieces of the shell set. That's pretty damn cool. Especially because I'm trying to get all of it. Now, well now we gotta get how many bells? Well, we need 18. So we'll just round that up to 20 to make life a little bit easier. We need 16,000 bells. Okay. How are we getting that many bells? Just for custom kits because that is a resource you have to spend because this game is well made except I, I question a lot of it especially the whole it being remotely well made bit but what can you do okay 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 I'm seeing exactly where I want to put some shell lamps right now okay Knucklings, I need you to give me an incredible deal on some custom kits, please. Uh, so, oh, I'm not selling those elaborate kimono stands. Hell no. Sell that, sell that, sell that. Uh, this is kind of an emergency, so I'll just start selling mats, I guess. Sell a shrimp or a crab or whatever. Sell that. I don't want to sell the lamps, though. Is there anything here I want to get rid of? Uh, no. But hopefully that'll at least be... Yeah, that'll do. <laughs> that'll do nicely. In fact, I'm gonna buy this. So that I can also take care of Celia's needs. And make sure she's got a bed to sleep on. Okay. Now I need 20 custom kits, Nooklings. Can you do this for me? I thought that was a bat. <laughs> There's a little ghost on there. That's fun. You know what I'm really missing in this game that was in the original Animal Crossing, other than NES games? This game needs the dummy. Like, it, it just needs it. One set of these. Two sets of these. Three sets of these. And four sets of these should be enough. Let's see if we can buy some pumpkins. I'll take five. And I'll take another five. So that's ten. Now they mentioned that there was like four different types of pumpkins. And the problem is, I don't know what literally any of them mean, just that they're different. So we're just gonna buy a metric swack of them, even though we probably don't have space for these. We're gonna try and find space for them, I guess. Okay, we got 25. That should be at least enough to get us started, I would think. And apparently they continue to produce pumpkins, you know, after you harvest them. Because we have to make this game Harvest Moon now. I'm going to go customize some lamps now. Cause I need to. Cause I want to. Because I gotta work on my house and Marina's yard, although I still need two more bits of shell stuff for that, and then it's done. Although I have to move her house twice because convolution, really. But on the bright side, we're at least uh, getting some stuff done. That's a plus. Also, we got this badass glowy poster. It makes me wish I had more portraits. <laughs> Alas, it's, it's a luck thing. I haven't had a lot of. Okay, so... That one's for my house, since we're working on the set as well. We need to have one in pearl to match the mermaid set, of course. Spooky candy set. Oh, so that's what the different pumpkins actually mean. That pumpkin looks sick. That one looks mischievous. That one looks super happy. That one's just sort of there. 
Oh, but you have to customize it with pumpkins. That's... weird. Oh well. It's not like I have to customize the shell things with shells. That would be insane. Alright. Last shell lamp. Gonna be classic pink. Because, of course, we're making this for Marina. And we're done for now. Alright. I'm not really sure where I want to actually put a lamp. There works, I guess. Sure, why not? Oh, that actually looks quite cool. I like the lighting on that a lot. I think the warm lighting kind of looks a little bit better. It sort of normalizes the color difference between the pearl shell set and the mermaid set's actual, like, proper iridescent look. At least I think so. Okay. Now, I gotta go plop some of these actual shells down where they're going proper. Oh no! Well, there goes my shovel. Alas. But that doesn't matter right now because... We have some shell lamps to get rid of. Bye, Kick Scooter. You were just a temporary lighting arrangement. Now we've got the permanent one. That's quite lovely. Actually, I like that. Okay. So, now we just need the arch and the chair and we've got the full set. And Marina's yard is basically done, but we need to move our house twice first. Alright. So that's done. Uh, still got that cute bed. We gotta give that to Celia. I'm sorry, Celia. I have been crunching hard. But I got a thing for you. And she's dressed as a witch with her broom and stuff. That's adorable. I have a cute bed. It'll match the rest of the light green cute set I've gotten you. An exercise ball. That implies you want me to exercise, though. I'm a little bit hurt by that statement there, Celia. I'm skinny enough already. Okay, so we gotta find space for pumpkins. Here's a space where a pumpkin could grow, I guess. Plant one. Oh, I can just plop them next to each other. Well, that makes life a lot easier. I'm gonna get rid of this flower, because that really didn't need to be there. Might just turn this into a, like a whole giant singular pumpkin patch. If we do, though, we're gonna need a shovel. Well, time to get to work, I guess. The nice thing is, though, while I haven't applied it to our actual gardeny area, at the very least, we have one full loop of all the flowers now. Though I'm not going to apply one until I get a fifth one. Because at least if I have four put in like a diamond pattern, that it increases our potential yield for roses quite exponentially. As I understand how they spawn, anyway. Okay. So let's get rid of some flowers. Yeah, I do like those lamps quite a lot. Those are nice. I don't think we need these roses as much as they want us to think we need them. Three. We need four. Or four. We need 21. That's four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. 12. I'm running out of inventory space. <laughs> I realized just a moment too late. Uh, 
Hold up. Alright. I just have to get rid of them the old fashioned way, whether I like it or not. Alright. I guess we'll start planting more of these. We should water them as well, I think that encourages their growth. Okay. Oh, they just fill in holes. Cool. That means I didn't have to actually bury all these holes and waste some shovel durability. Boy, do I feel dumb. It looks like we have almost ten more holes we need to fill. Alright. On the bright side... Got a nice little pumpkin patch growing. I will point out this is not realistic to growing actual pumpkins because they need a lot of space to grow. You, you can't really plant them this close. You need to give them like several feet in every direction. But whatever, game. Let's, let's just take away that one bit of realism in this world of anthropomorphized animals. Okay, we got eight more. Seven more. Whoopsie. Six more. Five more. I'm hoping 25 will be enough. If it's not, I'll be kind of upset. I'm hoping that we need to use these for more than just DIY crafting like the Halloween stuff, too. Oh, good, that didn't get rid of it. Okay, I was gonna think, you know, if that gets rid of it, I'm gonna be a little bit upset. <laughs> but it didn't. It's not a start anymore, mind you. It's, it's now like a mini sprout, so it's actually like a different thing in your inventory, but still. Plop that there. And I think it said that it would grow in four days, but if you watered it, it would either grow faster or it would increase its yield or something, so, you know, we'll water it. It occurs to me that if we're gonna do all these hybrid waterings, though, we're gonna end up having to water, like, so many things that we're gonna have to get like a new watering can every day but you know at the very least we're getting some pumpkins out of this and hopefully that's going to be useful for us moving forward okay so here and that's watered and that's nicely watered That's nicely watered. And we broke our thing with just one left to water. Alrighty, let's go water the thing. Again, very nice lighting. It really works. I'm loving it. Kind of going crazy that I'm only missing two more DIYs in the set now, though. Okay, I don't have bells. Well, poop. Okay, what can we sell? Um, you guys want flowers? Because I've kind of got a lot of them. I don't want to get rid of my elaborate kimono stands. Obviously. Uh, exercise ball, you can go away because I don't need you. Electric kick scooter, we don't need anymore either. And that's probably going to be 10 bells short of actually buying a new piece of equipment, but we'll see. <laughs> oh, that's crushing. Okay, well, we'll sell Hyacinth, I guess. Actually, what's really interesting is it seems that the one of any upgraded tool they sell at the Nookling store is dependent on your town. Like, we always have the blue star 
like uh, bug net. But I went to another town like two weeks ago, and I saw they were selling the elephant watering can, and they were selling the like I think it was the black one, whereas we only get the green one. And we can customize them, but it's it's weird that they only stock one color in every town. I think that's a bit peculiar. It's a small thing, but it's weird all the same, I think. But either way, we got this. And now we're at least starting to get ready for Halloween. Hooray! I don't know how I'm going to do Halloween for for a stream. Because I'm, I'm planning, like, every year to go hand out candy for my grandma. <laughs> so, I don't know how this is going to work. But we'll figure it out. Maybe I'll have to time travel just to take advantage of it so we can experience it or something. I don't know. We'll figure it out. But anyway, elaborate kimono stands. We might have to do some quick terraforming. But I'm going to put them up here. Because I think that would be cool. Just up here on top of the waterfall. Because I can't think of a lot of other things to do other than just like get a swack of these moons which require large star bits which of course isn't practical or available to me or anything else really but you know the, the kimono stands they're expensive but at least I have them you know so I guess we'll try and put this out I don't okay huh Interesting. I think I may have run into a problem. See, if I want it facing downwards, which presumably, if, if I can just find a place to put one down for a sec so that we can make sure that we actually have to be facing the pattern, because I'd like the pattern to be showing, that means I have to face downwards. Or rather, I have to face upwards, which means I have to be south of it. Now, at the risk of pointing out the obvious, the south part of this is where a waterfall currently is. And we'd have to basically either get rid of the waterfall temporarily or make an extra row to drop this on and then an extra row behind that to push this from to over here. Hmm. Ah, that's a thinker. Okay, well, you know what? We've already gotten started on Halloween. I think that'll be it for tonight, I'm thinking. But... It, it's a thinker. This this might be a bit of a project just getting these set up. So we'll save that for tomorrow, I think. Also, I'm seeing a gift of the sky gods. I would very much like that, especially if it's a seasonal DIY. What with us not having many of those. Get out of the way, Celia. Thank you. So we'll see if we can get this. Do I even have a slingshot? Yes, I do. It's right here. Okay, just gotta wait for this to lazily drift around over here. And then we're all good. I think. I think we're all good. I like to think we're all good. This better be a DIY I don't have. We got a DIY for the leaf umbrella. Awesome. Come on, be something cool. Useless. Just utterly useless. But we've got some nice DIYs for some nice lamps that really are making Marina's little yard come together. How beautiful is that? That's quite lovely. And we're only two bits short and we're done, but we then have to move her whole thing and it's, it's going to be a whole thing. But... We're getting close, and we have to modify this and work on our thing. We got time, and we've got projects, plus we've got Halloween stuff to prep for, so we're good. Anyway, that'll be it for tonight. I hope you all enjoyed, and if you did, follow the stream to know when we go live, because we stream every night, you know, provided I'm not completely swamped with work, <laughs> trying to make other things happen. You also want to check out and subscribe to my YouTube channel to see what else I do, which is a lot of stuff. I should have my big fancy review up in the next day or so hopefully it's been rendering for a while I'm genuinely a little concerned that my computer might be 
quickly bursting into flames. There, there might be problems. I might have to re-render it a few times, so we'll, we'll see. But it should be up soon. And if you really want to make my day, check out the show's PayPal or Patreon. Support the show any way you can so that I can continue to do what I do to the best of my ability. Which, in this case, is slowly show you how to properly farm pumpkins. And how it doesn't actually work in Animal Crossing. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. Peace out, Internet.